Hi there, this is Abe Stone and CoachingWithWorks.com. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for dropping by. And if you're watching us on Facebook, it's wonderful to have you on this page. And I hope that you're really uh, experiencing the, the, the changes, the growth, the, the uh, new insights in the areas that really matter and really mean something to you. All right, I wanna give you something special today. And this is about limiting beliefs. You know those things where you say, oh, uh, I'm not good at this, or, Oh, I've never done this, so I, you know, I, I, I don't know how, or there's those money ones. How about those money ones like, ah, money doesn't grow on trees, or ah, it's better to be, you know, poor and happy than rich and unhappy, or there's a certain reason we have some of these beliefs. Some of them are fed to us from our parents, other ones we've learned as we've experienced things. We, you know, we've experienced loss or pain or in some way that's kind of held us back, and we've decided that, well, that this is the way it is. This is, you know, I'm not smart, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not smart enough to do this. I can't, uh, I, I can't, uh, I'm not good at math. Whatever the case is. Uh, these things don't have to be that way. Those are just a story that you're telling yourself. Now, I've posted some other posts on this before. Uh, please uh, go ahead and check them out. I'll try to put a list down at the below of this post. But today I wanna give you a very simple five-step process that you can use. It's actually four clear questions and then an action step for you to take. Okay, and this is not from me. This is something that I've been learning about recently. It's from uh, Byron Katie. And it's something that my coach shared with me in an exercise that we did together, and I would like to share it with you right now. So here goes. Take a pen and paper and write down that belief, whatever it is. Let's say, for example, uh, working towards a holiday. Oh, I, I, I can't take a break. The first question in that case is, is that true? All right, you're gonna be tempted to say yes, uh, you know, it's impossible to think of it any other way. But just answer the question, is that true? Yes or no? Here's the next question. Can I absolutely know it's true? And chances are, there are very few things in life that are that uh, clearly determined and, and really impossible. Because that's what a lot of limiting beliefs would do. They're keeping you within a realm of possibility in your mind, from your perspective. Okay, now, I wanna read this one because it's a little bit of a longer question, but this is very important. Pay attention to this. How do I react? What happens when I believe that thought? Write it down. Be very specific about it. And now here's the fourth question. Who would I be without this thought? That really changes things because you suddenly realize that it's a thought and there's a possibility of a different thought. Okay, now once you work through this exercise, you're in a new position, you're ready, your mind is opening up to another possibility. And what you need to do here is you need to take that belief, however you wrote it, and just turn it around. Instead of I can't, I can. I am learning to do such and such, to uh, handle things in a certain way, to have such and such, and see your life change. Okay, now I want to leave you with a quote for today. No, the only limits to the possibilities in your life tomorrow are the buts you use today. Okay, now here's your affirmation. Be sure you uh, put it somewhere by your bed or in the, uh, on the mirror or in the kitchen. Somewhere you're gonna see it first thing in the morning when you wake up and before you go to bed at night. Say it three times every time you see it and really internalize it and, and make it a part of your emotions and your feelings. Every day, I release past limiting beliefs and practice positive new ones. Hey guys, this is Abe. Did you like this episode? If you did, there are three things you can do right now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe to this channel right here so that I can send you videos on a weekly basis to change your life. Second, you can get my brand new cheat sheet by clicking on the button right here. Third, you can go over to my website and sign up for my newsletter so that I can send you free offers, free programs, free products, new podcasts, and everything else that we don't do on this channel right here. If you'd like to do that, please click on any of these buttons that you see right here. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, go out there and continue to take steps towards your dream as you live a life that really matters.